We have a very intriguing and fascinating subject matter today. Can spirituality boost our physical and mental health? I say yes. These three, these three things that I mentioned to you have helped me throughout most of my life. Depression and grief and pain infused me to my deepest core when my brother was murdered and died. And this pain stayed with me for quite a while. People who have studied this and have practiced spiritual uh, engagement have discovered that our physical and mental health are in extricably intertwined with spirituality. There are three things you have to do to boost your physical and mental health. What are these three things? Only spiritual monomaniacal seeking can help you permanently obtain the highest level of physical and mental health status. When we use, or when I use the word monomaniacal, I'm referring to seeking with such a intensity and with a one-pointedness of attention, like a maniac. You must see like an insane person with a never give up mentality. Real spirituality can overcome all problems with one stroke of the pen, which I mentioned in great in a greater detail in a previous YouTube talk. If you come down to the practical level, which I'm coming down now, first of all, I myself have gone through great pain and depression, which I overcame. Now let me talk about myself for a few seconds. Depression and grief and pain infused me to my deepest core when my brother was murdered and died. And this pain stayed with me for quite a while. How did it affect me? I was moaning and grieving for months at a time. I overcame some of this pain when I met a friend who I grew up with. He was much younger than me and I was in college, he was in elementary school. And when we grew up together and I had this pain, I did not know he had met a perfect living master. He explained that to me and I was fascinated. He gave me several books to read. And immediately, I wanted to get rid of this pain. So I saved up some of my money. I was working as a school teacher. And I bought me a ticket and went to India. And I met this living Saint Sat Guru or Master. And I met other highly advanced souls over there too. One of the spiritually advanced individuals told me that he had had so many experiences and he educated me. In essence, I won a spiritual lottery, which I talked about in a previous talk on YouTube. I discovered that pain and pleasure are both inextricably connected, like the great, like a great mystic and philosopher said in ancient Greece, around 440 BC. He said, and I quote, if a person pursues pleasure, the experience of pain is inevitable. These two experiences are glued together like Siamese twin, which are born in this world, in the physical world, and cannot ordinarily be separated in this world unless you have the good fortune to meet a perfect living master like I was fortunate to be blessed with and to meet such a highly developed being. This being was extremely wonderful, loving, and kind, initiated me and told me how I could go inside and have this experience myself. So, after receiving his recommendation from his master, I achieved so many things that I cannot possibly describe. The second thing you must do, for instance, I was told, and you can use this experiment on yourself as well as on anybody else, I immediately start laughing. And you'll probably laugh too. Imagine you're in your automobile and you're riding down the road. It's very good weather and you're in a calm state. Weather has nothing to do with your response. A calm state has nothing to do with your response. But remember, in your automobile, as you're riding down the road, without thinking if you're surprised and shocked by an animal such as a chicken <gasps> runs in front of your automobile, your first thought 
is to put on brakes and swerve. on the 4th of July, what do you do? Most Americans, they simply go and enjoy all kinds of meat, chicken, barbecue, hot dogs. I used to like it too. So I laughed. I'm sure you're laughing now at yourself. What is the best source of nutrition anywhere in our physical universe? Sunlight and water. That's the answer. Plants are the only visible species that can eat from this high source in the cosmos. Yum, 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 yum. We can only eat the plants. The second thing he told me is to change my eating habits and eat the way that the universe has designed all human beings to eat. The right eating habits is plant-based food. We've been designed DNA-wise to eat that way. The first thing that happened, he said, when you eat that way, automatically a strange type of thinking will come up in you. And you can start thinking high thoughts. Who am I? What is this universe about? What do all species have to eat? And so on and so forth. You, be, you start thinking like an Albert Einstein or George Washington Carver or like some of the great uh, philosophers and mystics of the past. Socrates thought this way. And he came up with a famous phrase of know thyself which we don't know who we are. I talked about that in an early YouTube talk. Who am I? And finally, the last thought is that you have to live the right spiritual lifestyle, a high spiritual lifestyle with meditational habits, with deep seeking, introspection, and lofty thoughts. It is natural human nature. It is all of our nature to want to be happy and to be loved. I want you to, I want to hear from you to give us your comments and share this with other people. I always say to myself, seek one pointedness and the universe will help you reach your lofty goals. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when we post additional future videos. These, these, these three things that I mentioned to you have helped me throughout most of my life. And if you practice these, these three things as much as you can, it can be extremely important in helping improve your physical and mental health.